Commander's personal record. The Void Anomaly looms over. Welcome, Commander. I am Ava, your autonomous integrated virtual assistant. Standard issue for every planetary governor of the Star Union. My messages will appear when important actions are undertaken for the first time. They can be reviewed at any time in the Imperial Archives. This is an army. Armies contain up to six units on a single hex and are used to explore the world, attack enemy armies, and defend colonies. To move an army, select it, and then move the cursor to the hex you want it to go to. A preview of the route is shown, with a blue path to indicate how far the army can move this turn. The task notifier shows actions available during the current turn, as well as urgent matters that require attention. This is the colony interface. It allows you to inspect and control your settlements on this planet. The tabs at the top left cycle through the production and colonist options. Under this colony's name, you can see the amount of each resource this colony generates. A description and a breakdown of the colony's income can be found in the tooltips of each resource. The currently selected colony tab is Unit Production. All units available for construction are listed here. Units and structures can be built in a colony by selecting the Produce option, which places them in the production queue. When all suggested actions from the task notifier above the minimap have been handled, the option will automatically change to End Turn. Ending the turn will prevent you from taking any further actions until your next turn, unless you are attacked. Welcome to the Research Center, Commander. Here we allocate knowledge to rediscover the technologies of the Star Union and search for new frontiers. Military research concerns unit unlocks, unit mods, and military operations.
This is the Structure Production tab. Colony structures can be built from here to unlock new units, strengthen the economy, and bolster the colony's defenses. The battle has started, Commander. The defense... During a combat turn, each unit has three action points to spend on using their abilities, which can cost between one and three action points. Regardless of cost, using an ability always ends the unit's turn. Commanders and heroes are some of the strongest units in any army, capable of wielding a variety of powerful weapons and even piloting vehicles. They level up as they gain experience, allowing them to unlock new abilities and buffs. Each unit has active abilities that they can use during combat. Next to attacks, they have a guard ability, which increases the unit's defenses until the start of their next turn. Guard abilities always cost one action point. Try moving your units forward to form a gun line, Commander. There are several nearby obstacles that your vanguard troopers can take cover behind, symbolized by a shield icon when hovering over the hex in cover. Friendly unit has moved into cover. Cover protects the units by making it harder for enemies to hit them with abilities. Cover is directional and only protects against attacks if it is between the targeted unit and the enemy. Some units with ranged attacks can enter Overwatch. While in Overwatch mode, the unit will have a red eye icon above its head. This unit will fire its primary ranged attack at any enemy unit that moves or uses an ability on a hex within this unit's field of view.
Most abilities that are used on enemy units have an accuracy rating, which is the chance that the ability hits the intended target. Units with melee attacks will enter melee overwatch at A unit attacked from the sides or back is considered flanked and takes increased damage. Units in guard mode cannot be flanked. Enemy neutralized. Enemy destroyed. They never stood a chance. <laughs> 